Today we'll be looking at Filter Shaper. No, not this Filter Shaper. This Filter Shaper. This is Filter Shaper XL, a brand new plugin to the Cable Guys lineup. Now this plugin is similar to the Filter Shaper inside of Shaper Box, but with a lot more packed into it. So to keep this intro short, let's dive into the plugin. All right, so I pulled up this loop right here. Putting that on Mixture Channel 1 right here and putting on Filter Shaper XL. So I took a lot of time with this one and was wondering when I was really going to start recording because there's the possibilities here are endless. Like if I want to go through everything that you can do with this plugin, we would be here for forever and a day. So instead of showing you guys 100% of all the possibilities, we're going to go through how I use the plugin and basically just go from there. So if you look here, this may even look a little bit intimidating at first and in its basic form, you really only need to know about this knob right here and then how these two knobs change this one. That's the starting point, making it very easy over here. And at the bottom over here is what we're going to be most familiar with Cable Guys products. This is the LFO section where you can draw in different points and make some very unique patterns. I don't think I'll be going too much into depth with what's going on over here. This is a very universal thing for Cable Guys products if you're familiar with them. So very quickly, just so we can hear what's going on, let's try and do a very simple thing over here. Do something like that. And we'll play around with this knob over here, starting at the very top. But maybe that's not enough to convince you on this plugin so far. Well, this is only just scratching the surface. My favorite knob to play with after doing my cutoff and LFO is going to be the resonance, and it really opens up some doors here. It just makes for a much more dramatic effect, which I think is really, really fun to play with. So we'll leave that around 80% for right now. And then going up to the drive filter over here, I would definitely be careful when playing with this knob. I definitely would uh, decrease the volume of the sample as well. Make sure you're not clipping or anything. But that's not all the drive capabilities that we've got. Over here is going to be the resonance drive, which if you look down in the bottom is going to say, apply saturation inside the resonance feedback circuit. which you can also press hard over here and make it a, uh, a hard clipper as opposed to a soft clipper. Looking over here, we've got two knobs that are grayed out, okay? We will come back to that in just a moment. What makes this plugin to me so powerful is that you not only have this one filter module available, but two that work together. Going from filter number one over to filter two and turning that on. So let's try something over, let's see. Let's go and try that, see what happens. That actually has kind of like some movement to it. But once again, we can change the cutoff over here, make it sound a little bit more pleasing. All right, real quick, I wanted to mention here that we actually have a giveaway going on for this plugin. There will be two lucky winners, which all you've got to do is go over to my Instagram and leave a comment on the giveaway post. You do need to be following me and Cable Guys as well. Those are the only things you've got to do. Super easy. Go to Instagram, get your chance to win. I'll be giving you guys a week to enter, so I'll be announcing the winners on the 11th. All right, back to the video. Now we can talk about something completely new. Both filters over here have an option to change the kind of curve that we have. We don't need to have just a low pass filter. We can have a high pass filter over here, a band pass, notch, and a peak. So just for the sake of polar opposites, let's go on over to a warm high pass filter instead. I don't know, changing up that filter over there, we might want to go to some different rhythms. Now, I don't know how this is going to sound, but let's try changing the rate on over to half a bar. Maybe a different filter as well. Let's try a warm band pass instead. Alright, resonance time. So I think that we are having some very dramatic effects over here, and that's actually my favorite way to use this plugin, but not only that, I still want the original signal to be part of the melody, which we can go and turn down the mix for both the filters as the master knob, tucking it a bit more in the background. And 
and that would sound perfectly fine. Now it sounds like we've got some more like ear candy or an ARP in the background almost, like it's a whole different thing. And that's personally how I love to use this plugin. But we are not quite done yet. We've got to talk about these serial over here, okay? These are connecting both of the filters at the same time. We can actually turn that off by going to parallel, and now we've got those two knobs on both sides enabled. So now I can turn this pan on over to the left, and this one on over to the right, get some more stereo effects. Maybe you want one to stand out more than the other. Like this one's actually standing out a little bit more than the, the left one. So I'll go and turn that one down actually. Turn up the mix. And once again, for the master knob, you can also create your pan like you would in uh, Shaper Box 3. And same thing goes for the individual filter knobs over here as well. Also, same thing over here with the volume and create an LFO, however you would like to do that. And it's not exactly DB match, but I think it actually is pretty close to the original signal sounding the same with it enabled and not. So let's get a quick AMB comparison going on. So this is the plugin on. the plug-in off. You know, it's it's adding this up in the background, which I think is so important. You're know, adding those extra textures and everything really helps make a, a melody sound more lively. Right, so hopefully now when you look at this, it's not too intimidating. Now, one thing I did not mention because I haven't really played with it all that much. In each one of these filters, we can have two different LFOs. So... That's a thing. And that will actually lead us on over to the last couple things in the bottom on the LFO over here as well, where we can click this settings icon right here. This is going to be the filter one, cutoff, LFO one, LFO amount. So you can still have this linear pattern over here, but this will also change that and how it reacts with the original signal. That's some real fine tuning stuff. You can definitely get some more creative results with that as well, but I haven't really played with that all too much. I'll be leaving that off for right now. But the combination of everything from the different filters going on to having two different LFOs, the resonance and having a whole other different filter with two different LFOs, in which case you can find an LFO and an LFO. There's quite literally endless possibilities and I cannot show you guys all of them here today. This is definitely one of those plugins that you might need to take some time to really get to know, but the creative possibilities are again, endless. And while you're getting started over here, we haven't even talked about any of the presets yet so let's do that now and you can even use any of these as like a starting point okay so we'll go to like stepped over here rhythmic and uh try some of these out i like this one a lot it's a lot of like ear candy arps in the background I like this one. Oh, it's panning too. Wow. All right, but I think you guys get the gist of what's going on with the presets over here. I really do recommend playing around with the different filters here and don't limit yourself here. Really play around and get to know it. I think it's really important to know what you're trying to go for when loading up Filter Shaper XL. You could use it to complement the melody with some pretty simple LFOs, add texture by lowering the mix and tucking it more in the background, or even use send tracks to add ARPs or possible other counter melodies as well. And that's only of the few things of the infinite possibilities that you have here with Filter Shaper XL. Like I've been saying, there's so much more that we could do here that I could not pack it all into one video so the list just goes on and on of what's possible here in fact I actually created a few different demo tracks here that really help showcase what's uniquely possible with shaper box xl now this first one i had a direct goal in mind i wanted to create a new bass line out of a melody loop and here's the original melody loop before turning it into a bass So by using a low pass filter with a very low cutoff, increasing the resonance, and making this LFO pattern, I made this bass line. Then I paired that with a brand new melody, and laid down some drums, and finally, it all sounds like this. So 
there I had a direct goal of making a bass line out of a melody loop. And honestly, it went pretty well. But now going on to the next one, we went a little bit crazy. All right, so as you can see, we've got many instances of Filter Shaper XL going on over here and quite a bit of automation over here to bring in and out of the track. Here's the initial melody. And here's the other counter melody. I guess it's kind of an R up to you to decide. Basically the same pattern over here, but for this one we had halftime on there, and this one we've got Shaper Box 3, which is doing a few different things. Uh, a filter, pan, and width, all that combined gave it a pretty unique sound. Then this very simple four bar synth bass. Then I had these three different tracks over here routed to a send track where we have our Filter Shaper XL. Now, because of the plugins that I'm using, I can't really solo the send track, so I'll just be uh, turning it on and off and raising the volume as well. Which I thought was pretty cool considering that the bass line was very, very simple. Turning it from this over to this. and that was using the Acid Reflux preset. Okay, now time for these three XLs over here. And then with the Slimmer preset, I had this little bridge right here. And then after the hook over there, we've got a different XL for a transition into the verse using the Ring Pong preset. Then finally, one last automation over here, just for a bit of diversity using this preset. So my goal there was just to really jam pack as many possibilities on how to use Filter Shaper XL as possible. I would not normally recommend adding that many effects to your beats, but at the same time, this is a demo and I want to showcase the most that I could. Now moving on to demo number three over here, it's going to be a lo-fi beat that we made in a previous video that I really, really enjoyed. And I just wanted to see how Filter Shaper XL could help make it a little bit better. So again, didn't try to do too much over here. Did this very small little pattern with the mix way down, turning it from this. to this. Filter Shaper XL is exactly what it sounds like. It's the bigger brother to the already introduced Filter Shaper inside of Shaper Box 3. It's everything that you're used to, just with more features and possibilities than its predecessor. I do want to mention there is a link in the description here that is a referral link that will help me out if you do choose to pick up a copy. And if you are planning on picking it up, there is actually a special release price right now of $49 until it goes back up to $79 in the future. So let me know down below if you guys are planning on picking up XL, what you guys are thinking of it so far. And remember, we've also got that giveaway going on right now for two lucky people. So be sure to head over to my Instagram for your channel to win. 